Hello everyone and welcome to another Blender Made Easy tutorial. Today I'll be showing you how to apply an animated smoke texture to a plane. This can be very useful for speeding up your render time and saving on memory. To demonstrate this effect, I'm going to be using the smoke simulation that we created in the Steam tutorial. Link is right here. But you can use any smoke simulation, it does not matter. So to get started, we first need to change the material. I'm going to go ahead and split this view and switch this over to the shader editor. And instead of using the emission shader that we're using right here, let's go ahead and skip to a frame. Currently our smoke is actually emitting light. In that last tutorial, we used the emission shader instead of the principled volume shader, and that's not going to work for transparency. So go ahead and delete the emission and then take the principled volume and plug that in. If you're using your own smoke simulation with the principled volume, you don't need to worry about this step. I'm also going to set the multiply up to a value of 15. The reason we're doing this is because emission does not work with transparency very well. I've tried multiple times, but whenever I use the emission shader with the smoke, it would just not render with transparency. So make sure that you use the principled volume instead of the emission. Now that we've done that, we can go ahead and close off this tab, go over to the render settings underneath film. Make sure you turn on transparency. Another thing we're going to do is select the camera and change the resolution over to a square. So for the X resolution, I'm going to go with 1080 by 1080, just like that. Then we can zoom in and place our camera right in the middle of our scene, probably around there. I'm also going to rotate the camera along the X direction. I'm going to rotate it up just slightly and drag it a little bit lower, just like this. So it's front and center of our smoke. Then you want to make sure that the smoke is in the frame at all times. So just skip through a couple of frames and it looks like it is. Next up, we don't want to see the flow object for our smoke simulation. So to fix that, we need to open up this menu and turn on the camera icon and then hide it from both the viewport and from the render. So now the only thing that will show up is the smoke simulation. For the output settings, we need to use PNG, then make sure RGBA is turned on so we can actually render transparency. I'm going to click on this button here and navigate to a folder. We're basically going to be rendering this into an image sequence and then importing that image sequence into Blender later. So make sure you say, so make sure you select a folder and then click accept. Over in the render settings, I'm also going to turn on denoising with the render and that's basically all we really need to do. From there, you can save your project and then go over to render and then render animation. Once this is done rendering, we will jump into a new Blender file and import this in. Here we are in a new Blender file, and now let's import that image sequence that we just rendered out. To do this, I'm going to delete the default cube by pressing X and deleting it. And then to actually import this in, we're going to be using the images as planes add-on. If we come over to this menu and go over to the preferences, underneath the add-ons tab, you can type in the word images, and you should see an import images as planes add-on right there. Make sure that is turned on and you'll be good to go. You can press Shift A and go underneath the Image tab and click on Images as Planes. Once you have found your images, you can press A to select everything. Then over on the right side, make sure you turn on Animate Image Sequences. Make sure that is turned on and underneath the Compositing node, make sure you check Use Alpha. That's really important or this is not going to work. Then you can click on Import Images as Planes. And there it is in our scene. So now if we zoom in and press Z to go into Rendered View, we still can't see it very well. And that is because we just need to refresh it. So if we click on this button right here to refresh it, then we can press the spacebar to play and we can see our smoke simulation is now playing on our plane. And as you can see, it's moving very quickly. There is no delay. If we were to play this in the other blend file, it would really slow down the viewport. But since this is just a texture, it's playing without any problems. And since this is an image texture, it's very customizable, so you can change the material however you like. If we switch this over to the shader editor, press N to close off that panel. Over in the principled shader, we can add some emission to this very easily. So if we change the color, let's just drag this up, maybe change it over to a blue. Now we have some emission in our plane. We can also change the strength down here. So if we go up to a value of three, we can go over to the EV settings, add in some bloom and do some really cool stuff like that. So there you go. That is just a quick tutorial on how to apply a smoke simulation to a plain texture, as you can see here. And you can create some really interesting results, and especially for scenes with 
smoke that is far away, use this method to save on memory and render time.